Samsung has finally brought its 18.5 by 9 Infinity Display screens to non-flagship phones in the form of the Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus 2018. The smaller of the two hasn't been launched in India, but we have the larger A8 Plus for review today. It's priced to take on the OnePlus 5T, one of the most popular phones in the 30 to 40,000 rupee price range, so that's a big challenge. Here's everything you need to know before buying the new Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new videos. First of all, this phone is pretty big. It won't fit in every pocket and it's both thicker and heavier than most phones in the market today. The Infinity display measures 6 inches from corner to corner, but this phone doesn't have the same curved glass sides as the Galaxy S8 and Note 8, making it feel even more bulky. In terms of styling, our black review unit looks very plain, which some people will like but others won't. There are two front cameras, which is a first for Samsung. The speaker is in an unusual position on the upper right side and the fingerprint reader is below the rear camera on the back. There's one tray on the side for a nano SIM as well as another on the top for a second SIM and a micro SD card. We like the screen which is bright and sharp in all conditions. Movies and games look pretty good with punchy colours. You also get the always on feature which shows notifications when the phone is in standby. The mid-range Octa-Core Exynos processor can't match the likes of the top-end Snapdragons that the competition is using at this price point, but there is 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. The screen resolution is 20 to 20 by 1080 You get high-speed Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, plus NFC for Samsung Pay, and a full complement of sensors. The battery capacity is 3500mAh and quick charging is supported. The lack of Android 8 is a disappointment, and the Samsung Experience UI based on Android 7.1.1 is quite bloated with promotional apps and unnecessary social features. Samsung's Bixby Assistant feature is present, but without voice controls, which makes it pretty pointless. The camera app gets animated stickers, Bixby Vision image recognition, and multiple beautification sliders. There isn't much you can do with the dual front cameras apart from adjusting bokeh after you've taken shots in live focus mode. The difference between the regular and wide selfie modes is minimal. Photo quality with the rear camera is just about okay in the daytime but suffers drastically at night. The Galaxy A8 Plus usually gave us blurry or extremely dark shots with barely any detail visible in low light. Video recording only goes up to full HD which is also a surprise. Battery life is good and we got through a full day of regular usage and still had quite a bit of power left over. The 2018 Galaxy A8 Plus doesn't look great when compared to the OnePlus 5T at the same price. Its cameras are its biggest weakness, but the processor is also not as good, and this phone is somewhat bulkier. Overall, this phone only makes sense if you're a Samsung brand loyalist and want something like the Galaxy S8 but at a lower price. Given the impending launch of the Galaxy S9, we'd wait a while to see if the S8 drops in price instead. Thanks for watching, and for more reviews and videos like this, visit us at gadgets360.com.